Batteries charged. We're ready to uh, move forward here. I'm going to go to go back from the menu here. And reboot system. This will take quite a while, just like the last one, maybe even longer at the first boot. There's a cracker for the baby. Once this gets booted up, though, we'll be on the new ROM. And we'll go ahead and soft brick it. I don't recommend it, but I'll show you how to do it, how to get out of it. It's no big deal. I hope the stock boot screens change on the uh, next version of this. I said before, just be patient. This could take several minutes for this to boot, so don't worry about it. Alright, there's your first look at the new ROM. Now, just like last time, I'm going to wait for the media scanner to complete before I start goofing around with it any. There it started. There we go, meteor scanning completed. All right. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do here is go into our apps. You may notice it's a little faster already. I'm going to go into ROM Manager. Uh, to install the SD card fix, this is the steps you would normally take and then install SD card and that should fix uh, the problem with having a read-only card and you'll see what will actually happen this time error while downloading that is because I don't have my wireless turned on yet Alright, let's try making that work again. Back into ROM Manager. Vibrant. Allow access again. Successfully installed. Alright, so the uh, normal process to install the ST card fix would be reboot into recovery. Hit OK. and this is what you get. This particular ROM has some sort of bug. If you do not install BusyBox before you reboot, you get this. Now I've done this on purpose so I can show you how easy it is to get back out of this. Uh, on my PC here, we're going to open up the command prompt. We're going to go into the 
drive with the ADB software. I am typing one-handed, so I have to excuse my speed here. As soon as I'm in my tools folder, I can type in ADB reboot, enter, and the phone will restart back into normal mode. Now, there's some of you who either can't get into ADB or don't have your drivers installed properly. I'm not going to go into how to install those drivers for you. It's really simple. There's a thousand tutorials on that already. Uh, what I will do at the end of this tutorial is show you how to use Odin to flash back to your original firmware and that is the exact same process that you would use if you couldn't get ADB to work. <coughs> Alright, as soon as we're done preparing mass storage. Alright, what we're going to do here is go into the market to fix this little bug. Put in my credentials here. One of the disadvantages of having a dozen symbols in your password is it takes forever to type it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Google can back up my crap, I don't care. Accept the market terms. Alright, so we're going to search for BusyBox. B U S Y B O X. Now the first couple times I did this it said BusyBox was already installed. The next couple times I've done it, it says it's not installed. So this is a bug of the original ROM. He uh, Android tried to make it work, but it just doesn't work for some reason. Android, excuse me. This is correct screen name. I'll put some credits to, for him in the beginning and the end of the video. Trevor, have another cracker, bud. Almost downloaded. Every time the screen jiggles, that's because a little head is bouncing off the table. May as well rate this as five stars when I'm here. All right, I'm going to open it up. Uh, I don't really know what it says. All I know is it works. Allow super user. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, now we can hit the install button.
I don't know what BusyBox is. I don't know what BusyBox does. All I know is BusyBox works. So that's my kind of application. All right, now we're going to go back into the menu and back into ROM Manager. Reboot into Recovery. Okay. And this time it should bring us right into Recovery. Just like with all the other versions, we'll have to reinstall Package to get into Clockworks the first time. Normally after that it boots right in there. Alright, we're going to go to Reinstall Packages. Select it. Install from zip. Install zip from SD card. Choose zip. We're gonna go down here to SD fix. I'm not sure I want to install this. Yes. All right. Now while I'm here, I'm also gonna install another zip. This is uh, one I made. This uh, was actually created off of UTO Kitchen. I had to make some changes to get it to work, but it's working now. What this will change is the battery indicator over here on the side. Instead of just being a green battery, it'll be the circle battery mod, and you don't have to have an extra application installed for it to work. Yes, I want to install it. You're going to see an error down here at the bottom boot animations. I tried to change boot animations. Apparently this one doesn't support it, so it doesn't break anything. It doesn't do anything. It's just an error that you can ignore. And we're going to reboot system now. I'm going to go take care of that crying baby. Alright, the phone got booted up here while I was putting the baby down. Uh, this has the SD fix and the new battery mod. Battery mod is pretty awesome. I saw that and had to have it, so I worked a whole day till I got that thing working. Uh, everything else is ready to go. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do is get this thing back into stock mode. This is the exact same process you would use if your uh, ADB wasn't working properly or if you couldn't get that figured out or whatever. This is using Odin to go back to the stock image. And it's pretty simple too. I'm going to just shut the phone down here. Power off. Now the key to making this work smoothly is being plugged in. If you're not plugged in to your PC, this won't work right. So I'm going to take the battery out. I'm shut off. I'm going to hold down both volume buttons with my two fingers while I slide the battery back in. And by the time we turn this phone back around, it'll be in download mode. Nope, did it too fast. Pull the battery out. Make sure it shuts off. I'm going to hold down the volume keys. I may have had the uh, power button mashed there, so I'm going to make sure my thumb misses it this time. Slide the battery back in, holding down the two volume buttons, and right there, download mode. Alright, so we'll set it there. 